Hey everyone, Kiwi King 77 here, here to do a video talking about the latest update and reviewing it on the Sprint Samsung Galaxy S3, the Li3 update that is being pushed out now over the air from Sprint. It is still ice cream sandwich, it is not gingerbread. Go ahead and go into settings, scroll all the way down, go to about device, and you will see Android version 4.0.4 .4 right there. Um, you will see build number Li3. This is actually uh, a ROM that I was I flashed through Clockwork Mod. If you do if you are rooted um, and have a custom recovery, you can install that ROM. I can go ahead and link to where you can get that ROM from. I was actually on. Let's see what ROM was. I was running the Odex Blue ROM, which is an LG8 based ROM at the moment, and I flashed it without wiping data, and it seems to be working fine. Uh, without wiping data, but make sure you do do a back, uh, an Android backup before you flash the ROM without wiping data. So just kind of keep that in mind. Otherwise, though, uh, some new improvements and such. It is now. It does now include swipe, which is pretty cool, pretty awesome. So we can go ahead and uh, show off swipe. I have it uh, enabled right here down at the bottom. You'll see a, a new look. If you've used swipe before, it definitely has not looked like this in the in the past. So if I wanted to say something like, "Hey." There, how are you? There we go. Very fast, very quick, efficient. It works great. Definitely an awesome keyboard you're gonna have to try out for yourself. So swipe is included. A very useful keyboard, especially with one-handed typing, especially if you're using your fly grip on your Galaxy S3 for uh, one-handed use. Otherwise though, other improvements, they've actually improved LTE connectivity. I cannot vouch for this because I do not, I'm not in an LTE area. So uh, you'll definitely have to comment on this video if you have LTE, if it's uh, improved your connectivity to LTE. They have some SMS messaging improvements as well. So if you're having some issues with SMS uh, or text messaging, then you definitely could see some improvements there. Otherwise though, for those of you that would like to install it, as I said, um, I will link to the ROM, but you'll also notice after you flash the ROM, your baseband version does not get updated. For those of you that would like to update your modem to the latest LI3 update, I I have a video showing you how to f install a modem and it has been updated for li3 so you can watch that video i will link to it in the description uh, so that will update your modem you don't have to be on li3 to flash the li3 modem so you can do so uh, so be sure to check out that uh, video if you are interested in flashing the updated modem uh, other than that though that's really about all the improvements and such you'll see you still do have that brightness in the notification pull down bar i do know that jelly bean is being worked on uh, by Samsung um, for our Sprint Galaxy S3. So just a little tip there, it is being worked on. I know there are some test builds out there. I, obviously, nobody's been able to get their hands on them, but there are some out there. Uh, so expect to see it, I'm sure, sometime before the year is up. I know I'm hoping it's sometime very soon. I'm looking forward to it. Otherwise, though, uh, one thing I did notice, I don't know if this has been updated or not. Someone uh, tell me when I unlock it looks like it's kind of got a new animation when you unlock the screen. I don't know if it's always been like that or not. I can't remember if stock is like that, but definitely someone fill me in if that unlock animation is a little bit different and new. Uh, maybe I'm just going crazy, but that would be the LI3 update on the Sprint Samsung Galaxy S3. Just a quick overview. If you are rooted and you are getting this update notification, I do have a video. Uh, you, Since you do have a custom recovery installed, if you're rooted, uh, the over-the-air update is not going to work, actually. So uh, you do need to get stock recovery back. I do have a video showing you how to manually update, which shows you how to install stock recovery. So I will link to that. So if you are rooted, um, you should be able to accept the over-the-air update if you have stock recovery installed. So you're going to need to watch that video and get stock recovery installed. Accepting the over-the-air update will probably unroot you. So you'll definitely need to watch my how to root video. All links will be in the description of the video below there. Uh, so you'll definitely have to uh, check out those other various videos for your Sprint Samsung Galaxy S3. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Just leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe to me as well. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.